Before we begin our discussion, I would like to ask something from my audience. Does anyone from you have ever experienced the qualification interview in Saudi Aramco? Do you have any idea about the questions? If you are an, an applicant in Saudi Aramco for the position of quality inspector, definitely most of the question will be based on Saudi Aramco engineering standards or the SAES. And other questions will be based on international industry standards. Let's assume that you are applying for contractor quality inspector for electrical. I will ask you the following questions. What is system grounding? What is the Saudi Aramco engineering standards pertaining to grounding? As per Saudi Aramco engineering standard, what will be the minimum size of copper grounding rod? What will be the minimum size of equipment grounding conductors? In National Electrical Code, in what article we can find the grounding system? These are just sample possible questions that you might receive in qualification interview. This question will be answered today. So please, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For, for those already subscribed my channel, maraming salamat. For others who recently joined and watched my channel, please don't hesitate to hit the like and uh, subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Today our discussion will focus on electrical grounding system. The objectives and outline will be presented to you in the upcoming slides. What is a grounding system? Grounding is a connectivity to earth. Therefore, earth is ground. Electrical equipment provided with grounding is safe. Grounding is earth and grounding is safety. These are the common things attributed to grounding which is earth and uh, safety. But what is grounding in Saudi Aramco? In Saudi Aramco, we have our own industry standards. These are series of standards and are called Saudi Aramco Engineering Standards or SAES. There are different indexes for particular discipline like, like index T for telecommunication, index J for instrumentation, and so on. These are just examples of different indexes for Saudi Aramco engineering standards. For electrical system, we have index P. P stands for power. All the related standards for power system, including grounding, can be found in SAES that's P. However, there are other indexes which, which are linked together. For electrical grounding system, we will find all the grounding requirements in SAES das P das 111, size P111, which is uh, grounding. Instrumentation grounding system is not covered by SAES das P das 111. Instrumentation uh, grounding requirements can be found in SAES das J das 902 which is the electrical system for instrumentation SAES das P das 111 which is grounding this is standards prescribes the mandatory requirements for design and installation of grounding systems and lightning protection system for Saudi Aramco facilities. As we progress with this topic, we will discuss most likely the materials specification, installation and testing in accordance with the requirements of SAES das P das 111 and the related international industry standards like the NFPA 70 or the National Electrical Code Article 250, Underwriter Laboratories, and other uh, related codes. First, we're gonna define 
some terminology. Here is the system grounding. What you see is a three-phase uh, Y or Y configuration of the transformer secondary side. Y connection is a three-phase uh, circuit in which all the three loads are connected at a single uh, neutral point. The advantage of this configuration, it can provide multiple voltages. This carry a fourth neutral conductor. There are two types of system grounding. Solidly grounded system and impedance grounded system. For the solidly grounded system, in which a secondary of a transformer neutral XO or Y point is connected to ground. This configuration has the advantage of a peaks to ground voltage but also has several disadvantages. And the other one is a impedance grounded system. Using impedance by means of a resistor or an inductor coil to limit the fault current to a very low level, typically from a 1 to 10 amps. Let's discuss the equipment grounding uh, requirements. These requirements are under uh, Section 9 of uh, SAES-P-111. In hazardous location, equipment grounding conductors run in conduit or cable tray shall be insulated. This common conductor shall be sized in accordance with NEC Table uh, 250-66 for the largest power conductor in the tray with a minimum size of 25 mm squared or equivalent to number 4 AWG. Shields and armor of power cable shall be grounded at both ends. Metallic conduit shall be grounded at both end points by bonding to a grounding conductor, a grounded metal enclosure, or to a grounded metal cable tray. Metallic cable trays shall be bonded to the local ground grid or ground electrode at both end points. Ground buses and switch gear, switchboards, and motor control centers shall have two common connections to the local ground grid or the main ground electrode. Electrical manholes shall be grounded using two ground rods located close to diagonally opposite corners of the manhole. Raised computer floors shall be grounded by bonding a minimum of two pedestals at opposite corners to the nearest ground bus or grounding electrode. The following equipment shall be connected to the local ground grid, grounding electrodes or supplementary grounding electrodes. Structural steel supports, including coated structural steel for process equipment and piping in structural steel columns for buildings at least every 25 meters. Frames of equipment, motors, generators, and transformers operating at 1,000 volts or greater shall have two connections to the grounding electrode. Motors, transformers, and generators operating at a nominal voltage of 480 volts shall have a minimum of one connection to the grounding electrode. Motor-operated bulbs Lower voltage motors and transformers are grounded through the associated EGC or the equipment grounding conductors. Here are the following uh, usage and importance. We have the primary function, limit the voltage. When a lightning uh, protection and grounding network is in place, the strike is intercepted and directed to the ground without impact to the structure, electrical installation, and as well as people in the area.
stabilize. Grounding establishes a reference to the earth from the system and stabilizes the voltage to ground during normal operations. Facilitate. The purpose of the equipment grounding and banding conductor is to provide the low impedance path to the electrical supply source to facilitate the operation of circuit protection in order to remove dangerous ground fault voltage on uh, conductive parts. And the last is safety. In general, grounding and banding promote safety of the personnel and electrical installation. Now we will discuss the grounding materials. Materials specification of grounding can be found in section 5 of uh, SAES-P-111. Grounding rod as per UL467. UL467 is standard for grounding and bonding equipment. Grounding grid. Ground grids are installed at a depth such that the pole currents flowing in from the, the above grade steel structure are easily dissipated into the earth. As per SAES the speed as 111, paragraph 7.1.3, combination of rod or five electrodes in a grid or loop of bare copper conductors buried a minimum of 460 millimeters. Substation ground ridge shall be constructed of minimum 70 millimeter squared or a 20 AWG stranded bare copper conductor. Below ground connection to grounding ridge and ground rods or between conductors or grounding rods shall be made using one of the following by thermite welding or bracing by a reversible compression type connector listed as grounding and bonding equipment and have a manufacturer reference compression die number and conductor size printed or stamped on the connector and the third one is by mechanical connector which is necessary to disconnect ground conductors for test at ground test station we will be having a separate uh, videos for the CAD welding or termite welding. Above ground grounding system connections shall be made by one of the following. A. In accordance with the National Electrical Code as supplemented by SAES P-104. B. By termite welding or bracing. C. The structural steel by compression type connector bolted to bare steel. Section 5.5 uh, of uh, size P111 Bare grounding conductor shall not be installed in metallic conduit. As per uh, size P111 5.6 Grounding conductors extending through concrete or asphalt shall be run in PVC conduit that this is the preferred one or PVC coated rigid steel conduit and as per uh, size P111 paragraph 5.7 underground ground conductors shall be insulated when within 3 meters of a buried metal pipeline or metal piping Step touch potential and measurement of earth resistivity. This has been done during the design stage. For substation, having equipment operating at a nominal system voltage exceeding 1 kV, a ground grid meeting the requirements of IEEE 80 for step and touch potential shall be installed. Measurements of earth resistivity and ground impedance shall be made in accordance with IEEE 81 or by a non-contacting ground resistivity mapping instrument. New ground grid shall be provided with a test station or the wells to facilitate future tests. 
test well shall be reasonably distributed to cover the entire grid evenly. For the pre-commissioning test requirement, verification resistance to remote earth of substation ground grids and our ground electrodes used for system grounding meet design requirements. Using calibrated earth tester and with the use of a spike, a three-point method is used because of reliability of the results. By moving its test spike from 15 meters and 10 meters in three different locations, the average value is calculated and it will be evaluated according to the requirements. We have uh, testing criteria. For, for individual uh, rad tests, resistance shall not be more than 25 ohms for single rad testing. If not, additional rod will be added. As per uh, size P111, paragraph 8.2, solidly grounded system below 1 kb, and uh, size P111, paragraph 8.2.1, the ground resistance of made electrode ground rods or grounding grid used for system grounding shall not exceed 5 ohms. For the impedance uh, grounded system above 1 kb, this is the requirements as per size P111 8.3.1. The ground resistance of made electrodes, ground rods, and or grounding grid used for system grounding shall not exceed 5 ohms. Under a solidly grounded system above 1 kb, as per size P111, paragraph 8.4.1, the ground resistance of made electrodes, ground rods, or grounding grid used for system grounding shall not exceed 1 ohm. In Saudi Aramco, we have also pre-commissioning test reports, which is SATR. Das P das 3705 and uh, SATR Das P Das 3706 and uh, we have the typical inspection plan which is SATIP Das P Das 111 Das 01 which is the grounding and bonding. And uh, that's all for uh, today. I hope uh, you learned the electrical grounding system in Saudi Aramco. Thank you.